All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakah Kadash. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone or GMS. Okay, and I want to uh, say peace and blessings unto the elect. Okay, this is a uh, lesson is going to be uh, titled uh, Suffer for Righteousness Sake. Okay, because you might as well suffer for righteousness sake, man. Okay, because you're going to suffer regardless. Okay, we were brought here to serve captivity. All right. And no matter how you cut it, how you look at it, our people are suffering, man. Okay, even the ones that you see doing it big and all that, they suffering. Everybody is suffering, man. Okay. We living in evil conditions. Okay. Now, a lot of them embrace it, but in, inside, they really suffering, man. You know, the, the ones that are, are big, and you wouldn't imagine the things that they had to do to get to those positions, man. Okay. Wickedness. Okay. So, if you're going to suffer, man, suffer for righteousness. Righteousness, okay? Suffer for uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? So I'm going to read this in uh, 1 Peter, and I'm going to start at uh, chapter 3 and verse 12. It say, for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, okay? Those that are doing what thus says the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash, you know, to the best of their ability, man, okay? Because we all fall short. But, I mean, come on, man, you know? But the ones that are are, are, are giving it, they putting their best foot forward, you know, to do what the Heavenly Father's commanded us, okay? Um, First Peter 3 and 12, For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, okay? It didn't say the righteous and the unrighteous. It just said the righteous, man. Okay? How are you righteous? By doing what the Heavenly Father says to do, man. Okay? Uh, and his ears are open unto their prayers. Okay? And his ears are open unto the prayers. First and foremost, to pray to the Heavenly Father in the name of his Son. You got to know their names. Okay? And it ain't but a... a, a a select few that's going to have the name Yahweh and the name Yahweh Shai, okay? They're not going to have those names, okay? So, you can only pray to the Most High in His name, in His Son's name, Okay? Whatever you shall ask in, in the Lord's name, you got to know their names, man. Okay? If thou can't steal. All right? So, let me go through it. For the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. Okay? Because uh, the prayers of the wicked are an abomination, man. Okay? Um, let me see something. Bear with me one second. Okay, this is St. John chapter 9 and verse uh, 31. It say, Now we know that the Most High he is not sinners. Okay? But if any man be a worshiper of the Heavenly Father and doeth his will, him he heareth. So, the ones that's doing what Doing what thus says the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. He don't hear sinners, man. Okay? And you got to know the name to pray uh to, to, to pray to the Heavenly Father. Okay? Um So let me go back to uh first Peter three for the uh three and twelve for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. And his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Okay? 
things contrary to these scriptures. Okay. It says, verse 13, And who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? But, and if ye suffer for righteousness sake, okay, because like I said, you gonna suffer, man, okay? We was brought over here to serve captivity, okay? You can go to, no matter, I'll just bring it out real quick. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15 it says, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, thy power, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So you're going to suffer, man. It's written. Okay? And like I said, the, the ones that you see that's doing it, or oh, you know, that's up, you don't want to know what they had to do to get there. Okay? And they're going to wake up shame, man. Okay? Um, according to the book of uh, Daniel. The 12th chapter, okay? Which, when you get into Daniel, the 12th chapter, it talk about a day that there's never going to be, man. Like there's never been, Salaki, okay? And that's what all this is building up to. So, suffer for righteousness sake, man. Because it's just, it's about to get worse, Okay? At least you'll have some hope of salvation. Some hope of the kingdom. Okay. Um, and he, Salakia, uh, 1 Peter 3 and 12, I mean 3 and 13, Salakia. And he, who is he that will harm you if ye be followers that which is good? Of that which is good, okay? Even though they're gonna be brothers that you know get put to death, they won. They got the victory, man. The elect got the victory, okay? And they'll be the first ones back to put foot to, 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 to tell with the Lord, man, when he returns, okay? So, um, verse 14, but, and if ye suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye, okay? Happy are ye. Now, let me get a scripture. And this is St. Matthew. Um, chapter 5. It's a lot. St. Matthew chapter 5. And. Um. I just get straight to the point. Five and ten. It say, blessed are they, okay, because it's going into all the ones that are blessed, okay? Um, yeah, St. Matthew 5 and 10, it say, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So they got the victory, man. So back here in uh, St. Peter 3 and 14, it say, But, and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye. Why are you happy? Because, blessed, St. Matthew 5 and 10, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So suffer for righteousness' sake, man. Okay? 
all this stuff is about to come upon the earth why not suffer to try to, for a hope of attaining the victory man okay suffer for righteousness why suffering but now I say this let me just say this the elect will okay and this is what's coming to the world man okay let me get uh The second Esdras, chapter 16 and verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague. Tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges from for amendment. Okay? So this is what's coming, man. So you might as well suffer for righteousness sake, and this is why. This is 2nd Esdras chapter 9, and I'm going to start at verse 7. No, I'm going to start at uh, verse 5. It's a... For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. We at the end, man. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonders and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. Okay? And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils so they're going to be preserved from these said perils man everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith Whereby ye have believed, okay, the elect shall be preserved from the said, said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. You can read about them in, in Revelation, the seventh chapter, okay, the 144,000, his elect, okay. And he sanctified him from the beginning. You can read Ephesians, the first uh, chapter. Okay? The ones that has been chosen from, since the beginning, man. Okay? And you know, and we know the elect is going to do this. Okay? But this is what's coming, man. Said perils. So you might as well suffer for righteousness sake. The chip is here. Resist the chip, man. Okay? Those that resist the, the mark of the beast, they're going to suffer. So you might as well suffer for the righteousness sake, man. Okay? They're going to suffer. But the scriptures tell you, my servants shall eat, man. Okay? And we suffering every day. Okay? We're going to suffer for righteousness sake, Lord willing, I'm of that number until the end, man. Okay? The elect will suffer to the end, man. For righteousness sake, man. Okay? So with that, um, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the other apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, or GMS. Uh, and I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect. Okay? And until the next time, I say Shalom.